DG2, it is your guy, 74 Midwest Bass, and we are back today with something a little bit more simpler. Uh, we had a friend that, you know, factory subwoofer, well not subwoofer, factory speaker kind of blew out. Uh, who knows what from, Just from being old, most likely. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what car it was, it was a Honda Civic. But I didn't take it out, he took it out and brought it to me. As you can see, on the original uh, speaker, this was the door speaker, six and a half, had like paper surround, plastic, uh, comb, coil actually looks pretty nice. But, say, a little cheap spider, it's like a neo magnet, shallow mount. So, speaker it went out he didn't want to really go through the price through the hassle of getting new speakers and you know that really wasn't an option right now as far as the price was involved seeing as though on these they had these strange sort of mounts that you see has no screws and he didn't want to go through the hassle of getting custom pods made and anything like that. So what we did was kind of took some stuff that we had laying around and custom fitted it to the speaker frame that was already in the car, you know. Actually sealed up real nice. It's gonna sound real good. Like I say, a pretty much free option for the individual. It's free seeing as though you didn't have to go out and buy a speaker or anything like that. Everything sealed up real nice. Yes indeed. So this is what we got going. We gave you got everything soldered in so that he was able to retain the original factory plug and everything. So when I hand it back to him, he won't have to do anything plug it in, put it back together, and it'll be working. Yes, indeed, YouTube. Like I said, not too much going on. Just catching up with everything. This is what we got going for today. Like I said, just a real quick little project for anybody that might have something similar to this. Where even if you do, go get brand new speakers. You're going to have to either custom fit it do some kind of custom work to make it fit in there right. Whether you use the, the same bracket like I did, which is actually the subwoofer itself was made into the bracket, or CNC custom mine, make one, or you know, 3D print one, or however you do it. Like I say, this is the most efficient, inexpensive way to get the job done. That's indeed YouTube, as you got. Also, catch up thanks for anybody that's wondering about the MTX Thunder 6010s that we had in the 2020 build in Old Blue. They have been sold. Also, the American Base XO10s that we had in Old Blue for the 2021 build have been sold. Yes, indeed. So that lets you know that for 2022, yes, indeed, the third year in a row, we are rebuilding Old Blue. Yes, indeed. And uh, Black Magic, I think we're going to put some finishing touches on the no wall, get our peak score, and then go on ahead and rip it on out and go straight for our wall build for 2022. Yes, indeed. And Black Magic for those who might just be tuning in. Check it out in other videos. The bass fan, formerly known as Black Magic the Bass Monster, for American Bass XFL 15s on one Stetson 8K right now, soon to be on two Stetson 8K, 16,000 watts. That's Black Magic. Kia Bass, right now, as everybody that's tuned in know, those who might not be. Last year, Kia Bass was a champion, first place national, first place local, second place national. Currently, we are testing out 12-inch budget subs in Kia Base. 
Right now we have the Audio Legion Javelin 12 in there. And it's just doing real nice. It's not really a SPL sub, but the sound quality is pretty awesome for what it is. Yes, indeed, I'll have a full review coming on it soon. And you know, most likely a giveaway. Yes, indeed, YouTube is your guy. And we'll get you caught up with everything else. But for now, we're out of there.